that's a wrap. I'm not even gonna finish it. How are we all doing today? So we are heading over to Bar Pizza and Salad, which is in Mansfield. It's not very close to my home. It's about a 40 minute drive, but we're heading over there. It's on the list. We gotta knock it off the list just as a note. Last two pizzas I got actually, Venus 3 and the Irish Pub in Quincy. Two topping pizzas at both of those places under $10. I just ordered this pizza, two topping pizza, which actually it's a topping and a half because I get bacon on all of it and mushroom on half of it. $14. There is a huge discrepancy in pricing at all of these places. That doesn't mean it's not gonna be good. We're on our way to check it out. If you haven't subscribed yet, get down there and hit that subscribe button. If you have subscribed, thank you. The number one thing you can do to help me out, well, there's two things you can do. You can either watch those ads, which that really helps me out, or you can just hit the like button. If you hit the like button, as I've said before, it just helps in the YouTube algorithm. So let's get over there, try the pizza, forget about the price, and here we go. Here we are. Not the easiest place to find. It's in Mansfield Crossing. So your GPS only brings you to the entrance and then you gotta find it. Hey How you doing? Good. Got the pizza, it's in a box. So it just came out. A little different. Chopped bacon and chopped mushrooms. But the bacon looks pretty good. Some big pieces. Whew, very hot. Laced edging. And again, I don't ask for laced ed edging. It's like a decent thickness. Let's peek underneath. Ooh, that looks like it's cooked pretty well. Yep. I'm going to let this cool a little bit. I'm pretty excited about this one. The bacon looks really good. The chopped up mushrooms, I'm not sure about. Lots of toppings on this pizza. Lots of flop at the moment. Everything's cooked perfectly. If you do not like laced edges, I don't know what to say because I did not order laced and there's some decent lacing there. Very light on sauce, which as I always say, that is a sign of a South Shore style pizza. The crust, I'm gonna need a couple minutes to analyze the crust, but the bacon is really good. Lots of bacon on this. Crunch with the lacing on the outside, pretty good. I'm still trying to get that. So the crust is, trying to find the right word for it. I don't think you're gonna like the word I'm gonna come up with. The crust is, it's not crack-alike and it's not, although, take a look at that crust. Very different from almost any crust that, on any South Shore Bastel pizza that I've had. It is boring. It doesn't have that buttery, crackery, biscuit-like. I'm not sold on the crust. Sauce? It's okay. Bacon is very good. The cheese, still working on, on analyzing the cheese. The crust is, I don't know. It's not one of my favorite. It's cooked fine. 
Like I said, the sauce is very light, almost non-existent. Cheese is a blend. It does not taste predominantly cheddar or shop cheddar. The best thing so far about the pizza is the bacon. And the crust, I, <laughs> I, I almost want to say it tastes like it's a frozen crust, but I can't imagine that it's a frozen crust. The sauce is pretty good. A little bit of oregano in there. I gotta make my way into one of these chopped mushroom slices. So the, the mushrooms are chopped up very small. Not loving the mushrooms like that. Yeah, overall, I mean, the appearance just <laughs> appears to be a really good pizza when you first look at it. The dough or crust is boring. You do have the lacing, but and even the lacing, it's more of a burnt, burnt edge. I mean, it's not a terrible pizza. If I had to have someone try South Shore Bar style pizza for the first time, I wouldn't want them trying this and thinking that this is South Shore Bar style pizza or a good representation of South Shore Bar style pizza. Because I don't feel like it is. The, the dough just, the dough is just strange to me. And I'm gonna give you another shot of the dough because I've yet to see dough like that it's got kind of some holes in it appearing to be a cracker <laughs> but it's not cracker like now again as it's cooling as a lot of pizzas do it's losing the flop but the dough is very eh. very boring the bacon is excellent. I'm not gonna say it's my favorite bacon, but it's good. The mushrooms, I'm not a big fan of chopped up mushrooms. The sauce is okay. It's very, very uh, small amount of sauce on this pizza. So if you like sauce on your pizza, you're gonna have to ask for extra. This is probably one of the the lightest sauced pizzas that I've had. Although I always say that Seltra Basta pizza has very light sauce. This is to the extreme. I gotta just say this is just okay. If you've been eating this pizza and thinking you're having a really good Seltra Basta pizza, you have not tried Seltra Basta pizza yet. You need to get out in the world and go try some Seltra Basta pizza because this is not a top-notch Seltzer Basta pizza. You know, sometimes I say if I lived around the area, this would be my go-to pizza. This wouldn't be my go-to pizza. It's, it's really not that great, in my opinion. The dough is very bland, very boring. Sauce is okay. Cheese, again, it's not very, it's not a high shop cheddar. This pizza would not really even make a top 25, in my opinion, in all the pizzas that I've tried. The sauce, the toppings, all that, the quantity of them, the distribution of them is great. But not for me. Why don't you go down, give them a try, and put in the comments down below what you think. If you've already tried it, put it in the comments down below. If you think I'm an idiot, put that in the comments down below. But this pizza, as far as Seltra Basta pizza goes, this isn't even in the, the conversation. So if you wanna try really good Seltra Basta pizza, I would not start here. You gotta start elsewhere. And then maybe make your way over here so you can see what I'm talking about. Or maybe start here. And then it's all uphill from, from there, I guess. I'm not even going to come back with my final thoughts. I gave you my thoughts on this pizza. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. Do all that good stuff. Hey, 
have a great day. Go try some pizza. That's a wrap. I'm not even gonna finish it.